Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about this, this news that has uh, come recently that uh, you know there's more uh, layoffs happening in uh, the tech world and more recently you probably have heard about Microsoft laying off uh, hundreds of the engineers uh, in the US but also in, in other countries including in India I, I have heard, I'm not sure if that's true. But certainly in the US, they're laying off so many, so many engineers, so many people. And the layoffs are happening more uh, in the non-tech side. I think the middle level managers are losing jobs. Uh, HR professionals, uh, people who are, who are managing customers, you know, people are non-tech, they, they're also heavily impacted. But even the tech people are also heavily impacted. In fact, you probably have heard the head of uh, AI research in one of the department also lost her job. Um, so this is happening across the board but uh, happening more in the non-tech side in tech companies so a lot of the non-tech jobs uh, whether it's managing people um, whether it's doing project management uh, whether it's uh, you know hiring and doing uh, all kinds of administrative activities in those companies I think those jobs are going away you know I think that was uh, uh, that was also a bit of a, uh, a suspect, usual suspect that those jobs uh, are likely to be uh, redundant in the future because a lot of the operational intensive jobs are now being automated, right? But even the coding jobs, technical jobs are getting impacted and we have seen that in many companies uh, in the tech world, Microsoft, but also in, in Amazon a couple of weeks back. Um, as well as other tech companies uh, are, are doing the same, right? Getting uh, more things automated and, and they need less people for their work, right? I'd like to share my views on as to what exactly is happening and what will happen in the probably in the future and how we as professionals should prepare ourselves because this is not something that's going to stop for sure, right? And it's not just the tech world that is getting impacted. I'm sure all the sectors will get impacted sooner or later. To the extent of uh, impact probably will differ. Uh, and I've shared my views also on that, uh, on this channel, that probably some sectors will be impacted uh, less compared to others. Again, you cannot, you can foresee everything. You cannot predict everything, that's very difficult. But based on what we already know, based on uh, the different, uh, you know, uh, aspects of in industries that you already know, you know, you can make out of as, as in which sector, which industry will get impacted the most. And quite obviously, you know, the tech sector is going to get impacted the most simply because tech sector is heavily reliant on writing code. And writing code is getting automated, right? Uh, you know, and it's not just Gen AI that has automated coding, coding, you know. Automation of coding activities has been uh, an attempt for even decades, actually. Even in 60s and 70s, there were automation tools to automate uh, writing code, right? And when, when internet became popular, writing code got uh, easier, actually. I remember when I started my career in tech 15, 17 years back, we used to refer to different blogs to just copy paste uh, code already written by other people. And what we would just do is that simply review the code if the code is you know well written or are there issues and, and modify as for your need and then you know use it. So that increased the efficiency of uh, computer, computer engineers. What has really changed in the more recent times is that now you don't have to even do search on uh, on on Google on search engines to find right blog or right uh, website where you have uh, you know snippets of quotes, uh, or you don't have to search on uh, Stack Overflow and those sites. You can directly get everything uh, on the search engine, which is whether it's ChatGPT, whether it's Grog, or whether it's Perplexity and and all these sites, right? And so you know it's quite obvious that uh, people who were we were, you know, into writing code, uh, getting impacted. Now that's going to obviously uh, get worse over time, uh, simply because the, you know, it, it, if you just look at writing code as a problem and to automate it is actually quite, quite easy to automate, simply because um, co coding is, is very math, you know, very systematic, right? There are systematic rules in place how you can write 
a particular code for a particular task right um and there you know so it's easy to come up with rules as to how you can sort of uh, you know automate that through you know through um the, the, the through the uh, computer writing the code for you okay because there are rules in place um obviously you need uh, you know a review and all of that but that can be done by just a few people right that used to be the case also in uh, journalism and other things you know when internet came uh, and you know the lot of the things which used to be you know handwritten uh, i think got just automated simply because there's so much of information out there available free of cost and many journalists simply use those information and didn't have to go to you know archive and you know start searching information uh, through from the books so that didn't ha- happen and that uh, resulted in loss of uh, jobs for many creative professionals in the writing world so writing world uh, actually was perhaps the first um industry to get impacted by the 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 tech world uh, or the internet uh, or the more digitization of work right and it's only getting worse over time right so as professionals i would i would say you know there will always be opportunity out there in some areas right in my view people who have spent 10 15 years in microsoft they would be wanted by countless other uh, tech companies so they will never have problem finding jobs i'm 100% sure about that that if you have really worked in those companies you will always be in demand right the demand will probably be in somewhere else in fact there is all uh, you know I, i see that there is actually a need of more software engineers because more softwares are needed nowadays so uh, maybe for the entry professional entry level professional it will be more difficult but for seasoned professionals uh it probably is not going to be that uh, difficult find other jobs because uh now more and more uh, softwares will be needed for everything so maybe the writing of software has become easier but the demand for software hasn't decreased it will only in fact the demand is only uh, going up uh, over time right so uh, that's going to happen right i think upskilling is very very important i think in any career certainly in the field of tech uh, but any in any career i think upskilling yourself is very very important uh, upskilling soon just happen through doing courses i think it's very important therefore to connect with people learn from them but also to be prepared uh, for such a situation um, right because layoffs can happen any time in your life uh, ensuring that you are financially uh, somewhat independent if not fully independent uh, having some money for bad times is very very important uh, especially for working in the private sector anywhere in the world unless you are uh, working in public sector uh, or government where there is sovereign guarantee on your job that's different otherwise make sure that you have some savings for bad times right uh, for young professionals i i, I highly uh, recommend not to worry too much about these things i think there will always be opportunity somewhere uh when i was graduating from college uh, you know there was a talk that um the jobs will 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 stagnate in the tech world and it didn't happen actually it continued actually for f- next 15 years now things we things are different though but there will be jobs in some other industry maybe right so trying your hand uh, in other industry uh, is also not a bad idea there are also many new career options nowadays compared to 15 20 years back so i think also having uh, uh, a bit of knowledge about other career options other than you know the conventional ones is very very important even within the tech sector i don't see that you know it's in a terrible mess i don't think that is already the case no doubt there are bad news coming from all across the globe uh, regarding layoffs uh, happening in various places but there is also huge demand for uh, professionals especially experienced professionals maybe the freshers will find it a bit difficult uh, but you never know right um but i also uh, advise that people coming from other engineering non computer science engineering background you know coming from electrical mechanical civil engineering and you know uh, electronics engineering i think it's good to also stay in your own field you know if you are a civil engineer try to be a good civil engineer if you are if you are uh, an electronics engineer 
do something in electronics you know there's so much opportunities uh, in in those fields as well uh, what i have experienced in the past is that everybody wants to work in the high tech in the digital tech uh, sector uh regardless of your qualification a physicist or, or a civil engineer uh, a mechanical engineer everybody wants to be an it engineer i think that's uh i think those days probably um and uh, are gone in my view i think you should be focusing more on what you really like and not just what uh, everyone is else is doing um okay that's something i wanted to share with you um, that it's uh, not end of the world in my view i think there's so much of negative uh, views on things on linkedin i come across many posts about all many uh, software engineers will be out of job and there will be you know insane amount of uh, unemployment in the tech world that's, that's not going to happen anytime soon it's going to happen for sure over time i mean not uh, to the extent people uh, think about but i think it's going to get worse no doubt but it will definitely take time and there will be time for people to you know uh, upskill and 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 move to different other career all right thanks